My name is Marianne Anderson and I'm a haematologist. I work here at the Royal Melbourne and Peter McCallum Cancer Centre. I'm a haematologist and my predominant area of interest is in lymphoma and B-cell leukaemias. So lymphoma develops in much the same way as um, any cancer does. So the cells of the body, the normal healthy cells, over time acquire genetic changes. Some patients may be born with genetic predispositions and then acquire changes. Um, all these changes may occur randomly. The changes um, in most people uh, occur for reasons that we don't fully understand. Although in some patients you can uh, point to certain environmental associations. So for the majority of patients they've acquired a, a random series of genetic mutations in the B cells or the T cells depending upon the type of lymphoma that changes the uh, lymphocyte, the healthy lymphocyte from a normal healthy cell into a cell that is capable of growing and um, taking over normal cells and that by definition is a cancer so it's gone from being a cell that will uh, sit there and do the right thing to a cell that will grow inevitably and push out normal cells. For most patients, and a really common question that I get in the clinic is, why did this happen? And for most patients, I don't have a good answer. Um, and that's not because I don't know my stuff, that's because for most patients, we don't know why it's occurred. Um, and for most patients, it's also not going to affect how we manage them. So we see a patient before us who's acquired these mutations and their lymphocytes have changed from healthy into cancerous and really what matters for their management is establishing a diagnosis and then getting access to the therapies that we know work for that diagnosis.